This is a wheeling. It consists of raising the front wheel off the ground while maintaining balance on the back wheel. Contrary to popular belief, I've never ever ever tried to wheel a bike in my entire life, so I thought, why not learn how to? In theory, it sounds simple, just balance on the back wheel while moving forward, right? Wrong. It's a little bit more than that. I began by throwing myself in the deep end. I chose not to watch any tutorials, I just wanted to see what I would come up with. So I started by propping my bike on the back wheel, and I tried lifting my feet onto the pedals, but the bike would naturally begin to fall forward. This is because the weight of the bike is in front of the balance point, and in order to keep myself at the balance point, I must begin to pedal. To prevent falling backwards, you must first determine which brake controls the front and the back wheels of your bike. <laughs> The bike I have uses the right brake to control the back wheel and the left brake to control the front wheel. However, to legally sell this bike in the UK, it's supposed to be the other way around, so I don't know how I got my hands on this bike. Continuing, now that I knew which brake I should lightly press to stop me from falling backwards, I was ready to try again and force myself to stop putting my feet down. When I managed to get both feet on the pedals, my goal was to pedal once with each foot and not tip backwards. I had some bad attempts. I had some kinda good attempts. But ultimately, these were pretty lucky and not consistent in the slightest. However, I was happy with my progress. After many silly bails, many near-death falls and many failed attempts, the clouds began turning grey and the weather began looking miserable and well. It's beginning to rain. And I was beginning to lose hope and evidently cycled sadly in circles. I backed down and resorted to watching a tutorial. There were thousands out there, but they all said the same thing. They explained how the front wheel comes off of the ground due to sufficient torque being applied to the rear wheel. What this basically meant is by pedalling at the right speed, often combined with pulling the handlebars, you can cause the front wheel to lift just enough to the point where you reach the balance point. After two and a half hours, I was fit to stay on my bike for a couple of pedals. But then I changed my methods and listened to the tutorial's advice. I began cycling at a relatively slow pace, pedaled hard and pulled the handlebars back at the same time so my front wheels would lift off of the ground. At first it was hard to do, like I really struggled. But then I got the timing down and the front wheel easily lifted. Now it was just a case of practicing leaning back further in order to wheelie for longer. And well, as easy as I thought it would be to do, I resorted to bringing my bike onto the grass so that if I fell while committing myself to the constant pedaling, I wouldn't scrape and hurt myself. Okay, you can call me a scaredy cat, but I'm gonna ride it on the grass because it's just so much easier if I fall and fall on the grass. It's easy. Not easy. Resume the time. Surprisingly, it was much easier to commit to leaning back further on the grass than it was on the tarmac. Once I got the timings down, and was fit to pedal for a little. I kept practicing and practicing until I could lean back more and pedal further and further each time. Through repetition, I was familiarizing myself with the movement and had a better sense of control, which would be especially helpful when I decided to return to the nice hard ground. I thought it was going really well, but then, tragedy struck. <laughs> Clearly my bike decided that it was a little hungry and it chomped my shoelace. However, the problem was easily fixed by quite simply tying my shoelaces better. Then, I was back to it. I decided to return to the nice hard ground and I convinced myself that no matter what happened, I was going to keep trying. I was going to learn how to wheelie, and with nearly one hour of grass practice under my belt, I knew that it was about to happen. Yeah, I was wrong. I was barely able to lift the wheel off of the ground, and I thought I spent the past three hours of my life on something which now amounted to absolutely nothing. I lost everything, so I give up. No I didn't! Do you really think I'd give up that easily? I stuck at it, I pushed myself through the disappointment, and built my progress back up. I was then very soon fit to pop the front wheel off of the ground again with ease. I then was able to pedal again, and it began to look how it was on the grass. We're concluding today with 4 hours and 9 minutes, and we'll resume tomorrow because my hands are dying.
Alright, you know what? We'll give it one last shot and then we'll go tomorrow. But then something magical happened. It just clicked. That might just be the best thing I've ever done, oh my god. But I didn't stop there. I continued to repeat it over and over now that it had clicked, and I set myself a challenge. My aim is to wheelie between this shell and this shell. Okay, I have measured, and from that shell to this shell is five meters. So my goal is to wheelie five meters, and then I think we can call it a success. So after four and a half hours, I did a wheelie for five meters. <laughs> Let's go. It was at this point that I decided to call it a day. I'd come back tomorrow to make sure that none of my hard work went to waste. Okay, it's the second day. And I'm gonna see if I can still do the five meters. My bum is so bruised. I, I've never felt like this ever before. But from my very first attempt, you could see the clear progress that was made. There wasn't even a struggle to lift the front wheel. The front wheel was popping off of the ground with ease. I was fit to pedal, I was keeping my hands on the handlebars, keeping my feet on the pedals, and I was going the distance. <laughs> I'm, I'm just really glad that yesterday wasn't a waste. My name's Declan McFern, and I believe that if I'm fit to rub two or three brain cells together to achieve something, you're also fit to achieve anything that you put your mind to. You never know until you give it a go. Now before I go, all I'd like to say is thank you for making it this far. This video has taken an embarrassing amount of time to edit, so please, if you enjoyed it and you want to show your appreciation, leave a like, subscribe, do all that jazz, and make sure not to miss any future uploads. And if you didn't appreciate it, why are you still here? Look at your reflection in the black screen. You're still watching. Go, leave, be gone.